What's good, y'all? It's your boy, <laughs> Fur Cartier. Hey, oh my God. Astro. Yo, what happened? <laughs> what happened to me not being in it? <laughs> this nigga a fucking fraud. Don't watch this nigga videos. He a fraud. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> hey, my nigga Astro Wop. Nigga done told me he ain't putting me in the video. Put me the fucking video. <laughs> Fresh, that's Kodak. Kodak. Killing these niggas, you know that. Good day, number. Damn. Can't remember. But I don't matter. It's a good day. When my packages came from my car, I got to my destination where I get my car parts sent. Got the squad right here in the back corner doing what they do. I mean, Got the Civic over there in the cut, my boy Pooks. But I'm about to go look for my shit right now. So I got my package right here. About to open this up real quick. <laughs> see how I can do this, see what it is. See what we got up in here today. On top of the Beamer. It's not my Beamer, but it's one of the Beamers that needs to be worked on. But I'm about to open this up in a second. I'm gonna do this, let me see. Goddamn box. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Yes. Oh, I like this. So it comes in a little shopping bag. A nice little shopping bag. What's in this shopping bag? You're about to find out. Look at that, look at the details, look at the stitching in that. You know I had to get the BMW colors. I'm about to install this today. I got my new steering wheel. Let's go, I'm hype as fuck, shit. All right. So right now, we in the belly of the beast. We inside my M3. I'm part of it still kind of covered up. You see I got all these parts in the back and stuff like that. Ready to get installed. But today, Shout out to the guy singing walking fast. But anyway, let's get to it. Uh, first thing we're doing, uh, we're gonna move the steering wheel. I don't know if you guys can see those screws in there. That's supposed to be a Torx, and it's a 30. And we're gonna remove those two first from the left and the right. We're gonna get those out of here real quick. And then we're gonna get to my NRG hub, my NRG quick release, and my Renown. A renown, however you pronounce it, steering wheel. Let's do this real quick. Where's this T30 at? I actually just bought these tools because over the years of having this car, I bought so many packs of torque screws and stuff. Like, this shit is ridiculous. But, whatever. Um, I need a T30. Hopefully this works. A good angle, so you guys can catch me at. Um, I decided to turn the wheel this way. I don't really have a swivel or anything like that, so I won't be able to get it that way. So I gotta do it like this. This is gonna be a pain, I could tell it already. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, we got a little issue here. My Torx is a little too big to fit in there. I should have known that, should have known that ahead of time. So now I gotta improvise some way, somehow. All right, so after much improvising, I was able to crack one of the torques. I'm gonna see if I could crack the last one now, if I could get this on there correctly. Uh, let me see. Let's 
thing's a bitch. It's not really a bitch, but there we go. Might be easier if the steering wheel doesn't move when I try to turn. There it goes. So I was able to crack that one. Screw that out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking out the airbag. And to do that, you gotta remove these torques in the back of the steering wheel. There's like little there's like little plastic flabs covering it, but once you remove those, you can get to the bolt. Well, to the Torx, not the bolt, sorry. Is it coming out? It gets loose. Just like that. All right, so there we have it. The airbag is ready to come off. Gonna disconnect those wires and get the rest of this contraption off my E30. Just pull the wires and that's off. Could toss this in the garbage. Then what we need next is I believe it's a 16. <clears throat> get that straight for y'all. But yeah, I believe it's a 16. I didn't put in my M3 cluster yet. Um, if you guys see my first video when I received that, I didn't put it in yet, but I'm installed. I actually should do that now while I have this thing out. That will be pretty smart to do because that's a pain to work with, too. I might get to that. I don't know yet. Go back, but back and forth between camera angles so you guys can see close up what exactly I'm working with here. Just not sure. Yep, exact fit. That's a 16. Gonna unscrew that. That's gonna be a pain because I need an extension. I should thought about that. Hopefully, I have one. Yes, I do. Tidy, lefty, loosey. I always forget it. <clears throat> I got it though. Slap when you're strong, right? Yeah, <laughs> so. We got that out, that big 16. Now this should be able to come straight off. We're gonna be careful with that. Then what we're gonna do here is disconnect these wires from this old steering column. And there we have it, guys. The steering is off. Oh, let's put that over there for now. Ready for the new stuff, which is this and my energy stuff. Oh, oh. yeah. So, all those months that passed, and I wasn't making a video working on my car, I was busy ordering parts. So, I got my NRG quick release right here, which is gonna sit there. And then I have the hub. Which is here. So let's get to it. This is gonna look so nice once you go on there. Remembering how much of a headache it was to install my cluster because this is my second cluster my first one the gas the gas side didn't want to move whatever you want to call it they want to move so I couldn't tell like how much gas I had in my car and shit so this is my second one I changed it that shit was a bitch to get in because the steel wheel doesn't move and I didn't do all this now I have my m3 cluster m makes it give you uh <clears throat> it's gonna be my third cluster I'm putting in um 
Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You have two Torx right here. Um, when I first removed mine, I removed the Torx. I replaced it with re regular uh, screwdrivers so that I could take it in and out. And then all you really do, I mean, you should use a flathead for, for this, but I don't really don't care if this breaks and you just slip it down. Now, as you pull it out, you want to be careful because we got some wires back here that you're going to have to disconnect. Uh, this might be the tricky part, get it? Oh, this stupid thing. But, yeah, there's some wires back here. You're going to want to disconnect. You can actually feel back there. <laughs> Finally got the piece shit out. Fuck. Oh yeah, this is what was giving me a hard time as I was trying to take my cluster out. You see, it's like one of those where you have to like push down and lift. Yeah, regular BMW plugs, pain in the ass type shit. Whatever. So I decided to change my cluster. New M3 cluster going in right about now. First, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change some of these. Some of these lights I have on this one. I'm put them on my M3 one because I'm not sure which of these work or which are missing. I know mine's are working, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then I'm gonna install my quick release, my hub, and my steering wheel. Make sure I'm putting that in there right. The last but not least, the first headache. Same screw I used to hold it in. To hold this wheel back. Get that screw up in there. Now, well, for now, I only got one screw. Eventually, I'll find another one, but this should secure it for now. And there we have. M3 cluster is installed. Looking nice with that M symbol in the middle. I had the right to remain mm -hmm. silent. So, just now, my boy Fabe just installed the quick release on my steering wheel. Um, I gotta go install the hub now, but my phone was dying, so I came to charge it in the other car real quick. So I got the hub lined up. I'm still put on the 16. Get that on there. Installing the horn. Not really worried about those wires at the moment. I'm just gonna install my quick release. Call it a day. So now for the final test. 
Got my renown, renown, renown steering wheel with my NRG quick release, my NRG hub installed in my E36. Uh, I'm about to try it on, see how it goes on. Nice, nice. The wheel is locked. Damn, the key's in the other car. BMW logo stitching. Um, I'm gonna install the. I'm actually gonna buy a black BMW logo. This is like some cheap one I bought from China. It don't even fit my car, so I actually gotta buy another one. Um, I'm just gonna put that one there. But for now, because the car isn't really too mobile at the moment, I'm gonna leave it like this. But there we have it. Let me give you guys a closer look. Nice, nice, nice. NRG hub, quick release. Renowned steering wheel, renowned steering wheel. Somebody correct me. <laughs> M3 cluster installed. Beautiful, I love it, I love it. Everything's coming along nice. Can't wait to get my baby back on the road. Up next, I get rid of this. This isn't even real. But guess what I do have? ZHP. That's like 10 more horses, right? That's the real one. Done with this piece of shit. So, once again, thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Fur Cartier. Um, this is probably like my second E36. This actually is my E36, my second E36 video. That's because when I started my first one, it was like a warm winter day. But now it's getting warmer. Uh, it's actually supposed to be like like 80 70 degrees 70 degrees and all that right about now but it's like 62 today it's like what's today's day june june 3rd like this is crazy but anyway um as the weather gets better i'm gonna be working on my car more i got a lot of stuff here got a lot of stuff in those boxes right there we gotta install um i got a diff i've been installed i have to finish up my headlights my corner lights um i want to get rid of this interior and get me some red guts. That's what I want. I want some red guts. I got my black headline. That's good. That's installed. Um, everything's looking good. I gotta order my intake. Um, and that's about it. And I'm thinking about boosting it, man. You never know. I might end up boosting this car the way it's going. But once again, thank you for watching. It's your boy Third Car the Year. This is my second E36 video. I appreciate you guys for watching this with me. Um, thank you once again. Subscribe like share it show a friend if somebody wants to see what the steering wheel looks like in our g hub show them this video all right when i jump out the whip when i hop out the whip then i'm fresh and the latest i do what i want when i smoke so i'm faded